Good morning, adventurers morning. from the Philippines. We're here. We're in Manila. Yeah. We are in the Makati neighborhood, which is kind of like the central part of the, I guess, the huge city or out, outer city of Manila. And we have come to the Salcedo Saturday Market to try all sorts of goodies and maybe get some fresh produce. Y'all, this market is beautiful. Yeah, they have a bunch of fresh produce. They have a bunch of delicious dishes we're gonna try. And they have not just uh, Filipino food, but what we read is that they have food from kind of all over the world. So all there's all sorts of goodies to try here. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we found a coffee place, so we definitely had to hit that up first. They didn't have lids that fit the cup, so I've spilled this three times <laughs> already. But they did have paper straws, which is really cool, and they come in paper cups, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. No plastic. Also, they really like to uh, exercise their bell over there. <laughs> but this is um, Philippine Filipino coffee grown in the Philippines. It's good. It's really strong. It kind of reminds us when we were in Ooh. like Thailand Very and Cambodia, good. their coffee was a little more... I don't know, sharp? I don't know if that's yeah, the right Yeah, just like word. a more robust flavor, I think. Maybe yeah. they just make them stronger, I don't know, but yeah. it's really oh, good. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, this will do the trick. All right, onward into this market. This is a tough one, you guys. They have so many good looking options here. They have a lot of meat options, but tons of vegetarian options from the looks of it. Yeah, and lots of fruit. Is, it's got it going on. They've got this roasted pig back there. This dish is called a lechon and it's just this like chopped up bits of the pig. So we're gonna get some of that to try. This market actually has a seating area. Yes. So many markets don't have anywhere to sit. It makes it so hard to eat all the goodies. I know. But they have a ton of uh, room here, a lot of empty tables. And yeah. the fans blowing on you, pretty awesome. Not bad. All right, we have four dishes that we've picked out here. This dark one over here is caldereta, which is a stew that's usually made with goat meat, but variations use chicken or beef. I think this one might be beef. Pretty sure this is the beef one with the big yeah. old chunks. And we have kare kare, which is a peanut sauce sort of stew. So yeah, you can you see can it's a lot more it. orange yeah. than the other one. This one uses like oxtail, pork hocks, pig feet. Sometimes they'll put like offal, which is like the uh, guts or the innards and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what's in this one because it all just kind of looks like the same color now. I'm pretty excited to try this one. I think it's actually going to be pretty good. And this little beauty is lechon, which we showed you earlier. It's from that roasted pig. So the outside gets all nice and like the skin gets caramelized and you got all this juicy tender pork in there. And then they gave us some sauce. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I imagine it's going to be pretty tasty. And lastly, we have pork binagong, which we weren't exactly sure what this was. She just randomly gave it to us when we ordered the kare kare. Yeah. But we looked it up and it's pork cooked in shrimp paste. Oh man. We're ready to dig into this stuff. Oh, I can't wait. But we're having a hard time deciding what to try first. I'm most interested in this. Should I give that a try first? Yeah, you definitely should. Cause I want to try this one. Cause I think this is part of like a hot dog or sausage. Yeah. I'm very interested to see what it's like. So this is cooked in like a peanut sauce and you can smell quite a strong peanut aroma. It all kind of looks the same. I think there's a bunch of different stuff in here, but it's hard to tell what's what exactly. It's real nice. It's got a subtle sweetness. The peanut sauce really is just like soaked into everything in there. So everything just has this delicious nutty flavor, but the kind of texture of meat. There was a little bit of fat in that bite. This like is dinner, yeah. this is kind of a scary chunk right there. I don't know uh, if I can eat that whole thing. That might be some awful. Yeah, pretty damn good though. Yeah. Pretty friggin' tasty. This gentleman just informed us that that's tripe that we're eating in there. Oh yeah. So that's really nice of him to let us know. Now we know what we're eating. Now we know. And I guess we probably should have guessed by the long stringy nature yeah. of it. <laughs> Up next is the caldereta. Oh, it smells like a really rich stew. I guess it looks like it with the big pieces of beef and the potato and carrots. But I kind of want to try the sausage first. That is just a hearty beef stew. Oh, it's so good and thick. Luckily, it's not it's not hot. The dish isn't hot today, so because it's really hot out here. But I imagine yeah. in the cooler months, this would be amazing, all warmed up. Oh yeah, you got like lots of garlic in there, a lot of salt. That beef broth is just awesome. It's almost like a gravy in here. Oh yeah. You know, as I'm sitting here, the kare kare, it's like the lingering taste in your mouth is kind of like charcoal or like the coals 
from a fire or something like that. You'll have to try it. I and gotta see. give this a taste. Oh god, it's, <laughs> it's so slimy. Whoa. Oh, it's so jiggly. <laughs> Y'all, that is very interesting. It's got the nice, rich peanut sauce on there, but you're right, it does have like a charcoal aftertaste. I don't think I've ever experienced a flavor like this before. It's really good. I'm a fan. This would be great over some rice. I'm really excited to try this lechon. The skin is really caramelized there. So I think you're gonna have this like hard outer shell and then the inner uh, softness of the meat. Oh yeah, it's real crunchy. So the meat is super tender, and then you get like this crackery crunchiness from the uh, skin. But I didn't dip any of the sauce in, in it, and I think that's the key, because the meat itself doesn't have a lot of spices or seasoning on it. It's just a really nice, delicious stewed meat flavor. So I think the key is to dip it in that good sauce. That sauce, by the way, is bomb diggity. <laughs> just <Yeah>. damn good. <laughs> Y'all, I think my favorite part of this dish is that we actually got to see the whole roasted pig over there. Yeah. I kept, when we were researching foods to try here, we kept seeing the whole pig. And I was like, I really hope we do. And our first day, we saw it. Okay. Real crunchy, huh? Oh, it's really crunchy, but it's really good. It's really salty. The skin is, it's like, um, what is it, chicharrones, but not yeah. quite there yet. <laughs> Still a little tender. You can see on the skin, there's like this delicious layer of fat on the inside and then the hard kind of caramelized roasted part on the outside. This is what makes it. This adds like a little burst of flavor and then you put a little bit of the sauce in there. Oh yeah, real good. Oh, it's so good. So last up we have the pork binagungang and I apologize because I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it. It smells um, really sweet and a little fishy. Whoa, that has so much flavor by far the most flavorful of any of these. It really gets you in the mouth. It's really tangy. You get a little bit of the fish, but it's not too bad. And the pork is really nice. It's almost like pork jerky in there. It's really like thick and delicious. It smells really good. Oh, wow. That's really salty, tons of flavor. It's really like, kind of like a pastiness. Yeah. And you know what it's, it reminds me of like pork floss. Yeah, you know what I mean? What if you haven't had pork floss, Look that up, because that's kind of what this is like. It's like stewed pork floss paste. Oh yeah, you get a little bit of the shrimpiness in it. That is really good. I think with the vegetables, it's like a perfect combination. The market is currently shutting down. It goes until 2 p.m. on Saturdays, so make sure you get here bright and early. We got yeah. here a little bit late, so we didn't get quite as much time as we wanted, but enough time to try a bunch of delicious dishes, yeah. which I was quite impressed by. So far, okay. everything has been amazing. Really good, like really savory stuff. It's been yeah. really good. Party and savory and mm -hmm. just filling and yeah. delicious. The market opens at 7 a.m., so make sure to get here then. It's, it'll probably be a little cooler too. Yeah. So we hopped into Milky Way Cafe to try the Halo Halo. We were going to try it at the market, but the little stand shut down right as we were walking over there. It was really sad. But that's okay because I accidentally left most of our money at home today. We didn't have money for it anyway, and they accept a card here. We got one serving, but we said we were sharing it, so they put it in two different glasses. So it's not quite as overflowing as it typically would be if you got it all in one glass, but it still looks pretty amazing. Halo Halo is a popular Filipino dessert and it's made with shaved ice and evaporated milk and then you can add all sorts of things. It kind of sounds like whatever you want, but a lot of them have the ube in there, which is the purple yam ice cream. It has some preserved fruits, ube, penny pig, and milk. This stuff on the top is the penny pig, which I had never heard of before in my life, but it's just like smashed rice. It said immature grains, whatever that means, but it has like kind of a cereal smell to it. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> huh. All oh, that rice stuff on the top is delicious. It's crunchy like um delicious little Rice crispy treats. That's what this kind of tastes like, Rice crispy treat. Is it considered ice cream, this stuff up here? Oh, it's real good. Yeah. It's delicious and it's not like crazy overly sweet. It's got a very creamy kind of texture. It almost looks like Play-Doh. 
in there, don't you think? It does. Yeah. Surprisingly, really good. Are you supposed to kind of like mix it all together, you think? Probably. Getting a bite with all of this stuff up here is the way to do it. I still haven't gotten to all this stuff though. Maybe we'll, maybe you can give that a try. I'm really excited because I've wanted, I've never had ube in my life and I've been wanting to try it for years on our travels and I never have. It's finally happening. Ooh, oh my gosh. Pretty tasty, huh? That's amazing. This might be my new favorite flavor of, I, I guess it is ice cream, right? Oh, it's like really, maybe it's because I keep getting the rice in there. The ice cream and the rice work together really well, I think. Yeah, it almost yeah. tastes toasted. Yeah. Um, but you're right, it does have big chunks of ice in there. So it is just like shaved ice with like milk in there, creamy or condensed milk, I guess. So I think these are the dried fruits at the bottom. And sometimes there's even like beans and stuff in there, but I don't think ours has beans. Oh, it's all jelly. Oh, there are beans. Boom. There are beans in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was weird. I was expecting a, like a jelly bean, but then it was like a, a real bean. <laughs> very different consistency. Oh, it's very interesting. It's not like overly sweet down in there. I normally don't like jelly things very much, like wiggly stuff, but this is pretty good and all the flavors go together so well. Oh my gosh. Interesting and sad development. We went to Z Hostel. Our plan was to watch the sunset from their rooftop bar. Uh, we called ahead and made sure they took a credit card, but what we failed to realize is that you have to purchase this bracelet uh, to get up to the rooftop and you have to preload it with around 300 pesos. Uh, and we couldn't really figure out like what if that got you anything in return or how you pay once you get up there. We were a little confused. It was very confusing. She didn't seem to have much time for us. So we are now drowning our sorrows next door with beer and french fries. <laughs> <laughs> fries are really good. They gave us like a curry gravy with it. Oh, it's so good. It's and then really this unique. is the fried chicken skin yeah. on top. Ooh, it's actually kind of soggy. This is awesome. Also, sad news, I carry around a little tripod for this camera, a tiny little thing that we use to like mount it, like set it up, set up shots when we need to. Um, but we got swarmed by a bunch of little kids and they swiped it out of my bag. It was in this pocket here on my bag. And obviously I know that's a very bad spot to have anything that you don't want stolen, but it's not that valuable of an item, but still kind of pissed me off that they took it. But uh, eh, Yo, whatever. The, the day started so strong. The market was amazing and delicious. Yeah. And then we realized we didn't have enough cash. And then it, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of gone a hill. But yeah. we're making the most of it. It's a Saturday night and these fries are pretty perfect. So Could it was worse. sad, but it's a win in the end, I'd say. We just came back to our place and there's something going on down the street. I think it's a basketball game, maybe? We saw them painting the street last night with what we thought was, like, I don't, basketball lines. Something's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Selfie like this? We're doing a selfie. Thank you. Show me how it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's food adventure. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this, more of our adventures around the Philippines, because we're going to have a few more coming up before we move on. Oh, yeah. Tons more food, tons more adventures. Hopefully some beaches coming up pretty soon. I mm -hmm. cannot wait. We really enjoyed finally getting some delicious Filipino food. The end of the day did not quite turn out as planned, but it's okay. It was still fun. We got to see some of the city. Yeah, and we got to hang out with some uh, locals down there at that basketball court that they made. That was pretty oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, Eric yeah. was the photographer. All the kids were coming up and like, take my picture, and they were all posing. Yeah, so I snapped so all cute. sorts of amazing photos of them. It was oh, great. Oh, man, it was great. Yeah, they were all super nice. Yeah. So and nice. they gave us bananas. 
We have a oh, couple yeah. of NES. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, the he region. said that they're from a specific region in the Philippines, I think, but we can't remember what it was. Yeah, but they look great. Yeah. Yeah. So successful first outing here in Manila. We're excited to do more. All right. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>